This movie is another Pixar animated movie that's unfortunately a dud. Many of Pixar's recent films are a tad underwhelming and this is one of them. Over the decades, Pixar films have come to represent a much higher standard and this movie can come close to matching the majesty and the emotional sensitivity of the top flight Pixar franchises. It's using the tried and true animated film lineage of mythological and fairy tale shape shifting narratives. This movie's plot involves the main character transforming into an animal against their will, which is repeating familiar ground like previous Pixar movies. It brings little originality and imagination to its pain by numbers plotting. The story contains predictable narrative threats of parental expectations, forging one's own identity, and the power of friendship in the face of adversity. The setup has all sorts of metaphorical potential especially related to adolescence and cultural heritage, but the film ignores any heavy stuff in favor of cheap laughs and dull subplots that don't go anywhere. It's a lazy affair that is merely appropriative and referential without doing much else. Maylin's out-of-control manifestations are clear metaphors for puberty and teenage angst, but the magical components are somewhat frustrating. They're not particularly creative, instead feeling very much orchestrated just for visual slapstick and for the very obvious parable being presented. Beyond that, the whole metaphor doesn't really work. Inventing rituals for cultures and religion is a strange choice. Teens will relate to this, but unfortunately, they don't have a ritual that will stop all of these tough moments in their lives as they simply can't control this thing. The movie tries to push a futile message about controlling one's behaviors during a practically uncontrollable period of life. There's also a problem with the characters. Mei Lin is grating, and her mother Ming is unhinged and unreasonable. This specific familial scenario at work is problematic as Ming is more monstrous and enraging than the act of occasionally giving in to normal teen hysterics and rebellion. By doing this, the movie tries to tell you that obeying elders and sacrificing personal freedoms is downright aggravating. Mei Lin and Ming are annoying characters and the fighting between them got old real fast. Mei Lin's life doesn't feel natural and it's rather forced as well. The magnification of relatable situations of her life are evident, but the premise here is really unconvincing. This movie turns increasingly plodding as it progresses. It's still able to flex its visual creativity, but struggles to keep the story lively for the 100-minute running time. It would probably have had more impact and urgency if it were a short film. The culture clash theme embodied in the mother and daughter tension leads to a rather uninspired battle between giant pandas. It's clear that the film is missing heart and pathos. Overall, this movie is insipid, uninspired, and fully reliant on referentialism to compensate for lacking originality. It's too offered and formulaic to be as clever and original as many of the studio's previous efforts. We do not recommend this movie at all.